Oh, no, no, it's... Okay. Uh, so, hi, everyone. Uh, I'm Kong, and uh, I'm from Renzi. Uh, and I'll talk about uh, the machine learning analysis of workflow data using, uh, using the Pegasus uh, uh, data collection framework. Uh, so we utilize the machine learning methods uh, to collect the performance data and to analyze the performance data. Uh, so we make use of the uh, Panorama 360 framework uh, to collect the data from the state-of-the-art test beds um, and uh, to uh, and uh, uh, as well as the uh, production uh, HPC environments. So uh, we collect the data uh, like a uh, uh, from from the, the uh, from the state of the art test beds, for example, the uh, uh, NSF supported uh, uh, Exogeny testbed or the uh, DOE HPC environment, we collect the data into the uh, into the monitoring uh, framework, uh, and uh, we ut utilize Pegasus to store the data into an internal database, and uh, we uh, utilize the monitoring REST API to interact with the online collection, uh, well, with, the, uh, with the analysis framework that uh, can uh, analyze both of the uh, workflow level or the task level feature vectors. Uh, and uh, finally, we make use of the machine learning methods using uh, SkyKit Learn uh, uh, methods. Uh, we we collect the we collect and the uh, we collect and analyze the data on three different levels. Uh, the first one is workflow level, and the second one is sub workflow level. That's task level. Uh, so usually each workflow can have uh, can have many uh, many sub workflows, uh, as well as the uh, infrastructure level, uh, such as the uh, network uh, or the uh, or the compute infrastructures. So the uh, for the workflow level. Uh, analysis and the uh, task level analysis we uh, we do similar things but uh, uh, in a diff in different ways so for the workflow level we collect the data uh, and we feed uh, the data into the uh, uh, unsupervised learning models such as uh, k means or c means to cluster the different features uh, from the uh, from the workflow execution uh, and uh, finally, we run the online classification methods. Uh, and for the uh, for the job level or the task level, we we also collect the data uh, and we use the labeled data to to perform the training. And uh, we uh, we perform the uh, the analysis using the using different methods such as uh, naive base or KN or uh, decision tree based uh, classification. Uh, for, like uh, for the for the upper levels, we uh, we use the uh, the workflow level. We use the unsupervised learning, but uh, for the uh, for the task level, we usually use the supervised learning models. Uh, so this talk will will focus on the uh, uh, workflow level analysis uh, for the time uh, because of the time restrictions. Uh, so for the data collection, we use Pegasus Monitor D to collect the data. And uh, we uh, we feed the uh, uh, Pegasus Stamp PD the workflow into the uh, workflow data into the database, and uh, we uh, we use Pegasus uh, uh, dashboard REST APIs to interact with our uh, machine learning, le learning models, and finally we perform the uh, uh, workflow level analysis for anomaly uh, detection and uh, failure prediction. So for the classification setup, uh, we uh, we collect uh, different uh, feature vectors. For uh, for the uh, workflow level feature vector, we collect uh, uh, these sample features. For example, the uh, uh, number of job instances succeeded divided by the the uh, job uh, job done. That's that's going to be the uh, job success rate, as well as the job fail uh, failure rate. And uh, also the uh, uh, summation of the duration of the job, uh, successful job execution divided by the uh, number of uh, the job instance succeeded, uh, as well as the uh, duration divided by the job failure. Uh, 
Um, and, and finally, is the job instances succeeded divided by the total, uh, total workflow jobs. So uh, in total, we have collected uh, about uh, uh, from about 170 workflow uh, executions. And uh, we use, uh, uh, in this talk, I will focus on the k-means cluster uh, classifier to perform the unsupervised clustering to partition the uh, input feature vectors into different clusters uh, with, uh, with normal uh, or different uh, uh, anomaly situations. So uh, for the uh, for the machine learning methods, uh, we make use of the uh, uh, exogeny testbed. We run the uh, sample uh, 1,000 genome Pegasus workflow on the on the uh, on the uh, exogeny testbed. Uh, so we set up uh, we set up four uh, four uh, one master node, three worker nodes, and uh, one data node. And we use Globus transfer to transfer the data from the data node to the to the master node as well as the uh, worker nodes, and we set up the HD Condor and Slurm on the uh, on the on the cluster, uh, and uh, as well as Pegasus to orchestrate the workflows. Uh, so we have collected uh, different uh, uh, different uh, uh, workflow executions for the uh, clean runs. We do not use any anomalies, uh, so that uh, for that we have collected uh, th uh, thirty samples, and uh, for the different uh, failures, uh, we inject. Uh, for example, we inject the uh, misconfigurations to generate the synthetic workflow failures, uh, as well as the uh, different uh, levels of stress uh, on the CPU, RAM, or hard disks. Uh, with different levels, with high stress or low stress. Uh, so to uh, perform the analysis, we make use of the k-means clustering method. Uh, so the first step, uh, which is important, is to identify the elbow. Uh, so as we can see that uh, the uh, the left figure uh, to is to identify the elbow location. So the x-axis is the uh, number of clusters and the y-axis is the sum of the mean square errors. Uh, so uh, as we see that the uh, errors can uh, decrease sharply until an elbow plays that's uh, with the three clusters. Uh, and uh, after that, the arrow is decreasing uh, slowly. So we can see the, uh, we can identify the elbow as at the uh, uh, three clusters. And uh, then we perform the clustering for to identify uh, to differentiate the uh, uh, the different levels of stress. Uh, uh, so the green is the uh, green color is the normal runs, and the blue color is the uh, uh, is uh, low stress, and the red color means high stress. As we can see, that the k-means clustering can. Uh, can clearly identify the uh, three clusters according to the different uh, workflow executions. So in conclusion, uh, we, uh, we can make use of the Pegasus uh, workflow management system to detect the uh, anomalies uh, uh, for uh, using machine learning methods. Uh, so uh, in this talk, I, I talked about the lightweight machine learning technique that uses k-means clustering. Uh, as a, uh, as we can see, we have uh, we have we ha we can see a, a promising results. Uh, to to um, to get some numbers, uh, we can we can get uh, over 0.7 for the normalized mutual information that's an IMI, as well as over. Uh, 0.7 for the complete mean scores. So thank you.